union. And, and in fact, even before Cameron had gone there this week, we'd seen Chris Grayling go to try to get powers back under the working time directive, and he was told to take a running jump. I, I suspect for you, Mr Farage, these are sort of heady times. You've been saying for many years that uh, European fiscal integration would harm Britain. Uh, I, I guess you've, well, you've got the balloons and the bunting out already, haven't you? Are you enjoying this? Uh, well, uh, yes and no. Uh, I mean, on the one hand, um, I suppose as a party, to have predicted what would happen and to have been proved to be right uh, may be a good thing for our credibility, but we're not going to celebrate or open the champagne because what is happening is serious. And we've got countries like Greece and Italy where democracy has been stripped from those countries, where austerity packages are being put upon um, some of those countries that will drive them into depression, mass unemployment and probably very serious civil disorder so we'll celebrate when countries that should never have joined the eurozone get their own currencies back so what do you think the eurozone should be looking like in, in a few years time I mean you're an MEP you've got a voice in the well, European Parliament I think that uh, the likelihood is that one by one uh, the Mediterranean countries will start to peel off uh, and we'll finish up with something in the north of Europe that resembles a greater Deutschmark zone. And whilst economically uh, that may pass all the tests of being part of an optimal currency zone, um, it then asks a political question, do countries like Finland, do countries like the Netherlands uh, want to live in a totally German-dominated currency zone? We will, of course, export to the Eurozone whatever it looks like, so we are going to have to remain if not part of this, certainly at close arm's reach, aren't we? Well, look, I mean, what we've always argued in UKIP is we do not want to be a member of political union, but we do want to have free trade, friendship and cooperation. You know, countries like Norway and Switzerland have exactly the same terms of trade with Europe without being members of the union. Indeed, there are countries all over the world that have free trade deals with the EU. Free trade, cooperation, friendship, but also Britain being able to pursue her own global ambitions as well. What about, though, if the Eurozone did turn into a core of the economically strongest states in Europe, uh, got rid of the ones that you referred to, uh, the, the Greece's and Portugal's, yeah. would there then be a stronger argument for saying that Britain should be much more integrated with that? No, look, we tried all this before. Back in 1990, we joined something called the exchange rate mechanism. It was a catastrophe. You have to understand that the British economy is very different uh, to Germany, to France, to Italy, to anywhere else. We are much more already of a country with links with North America, with links with the Commonwealth. You know, we are very different to the other European economies, and we also have a much bigger reliance on financial services. Um, and I'm afraid if we stay part of this European Union, then I think the legislation coming from Brussels will damage Britain's biggest industry very severely indeed. So looking back, Mr Farage, do you see Gordon Brown as a bit of a hero for keeping Britain out of uh, the Eurozone? Look, I think Gordon Brown got many things wrong, but well done, Gordon, for keeping us out of the Euro. Uh, and that, of course, was uh, Nigel Farage speaking to me a little earlier. Well, we can speak...